Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2015 on a 65 plate. Uh, it's a Volkswagen Caddy. It is the 2 litre TDI Euro 6 105 brake horsepower model. Uh, looks like a start line, doesn't it? However, uh, been out on lease to Sky TV. Sky really look after their employees with the specification of the Vans. So this particular one has electric windows, electric mirrors, factory sat nav, um, air conditioning, reverse parking sensors, Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music. Um, so really nice specification vans. Uh, they don't hang around very long with us, to be honest with you. They're very, very popular, especially these very latest facelift versions with the 2.0-litre TDI Euro 6 engine in. Euro 6 means that you'll be able to use it in Birmingham, Bristol and London. Uh, obviously, they have all brought in the uh, congestion charge zones. So, um, yeah, this van uh, is good for those. Uh, now, let's give you a walk around so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So they all come with these very, like this, well, just putting this out for start, there's a little bit of vinyl. So obviously these vans are wrapped from you by Sky. We've all seen the Sky vans going around, haven't we, with all of the cartoon stuff and the latest programs all wrapped all over them. So these have a full wrap on them from you. So in actual fact, your paintwork on the body are, is actually generally very, very good condition um, because the wrap has protected it from you. Anyway, back up to the roofs. As you can see, they have these very substantial Rhino ladder racks fitted to them. Um, a man once told me these are about a grand a piece. I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, however, it's a substantial bit of equipment, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. Pretty handy bit of kit. If you don't want them, to be quite frank with you, there's not a massive value in them on the second-hand market unless you find somebody who specifically wants a big Rhino ladder rack on the roof of their van. Um, we uh, we may well not give you the free rag that appears to have been left by the valet on the on the roof there, but uh, yeah, the um, you know if you don't want it, we can get it removed. Put it like that. Same with the whole racking system in the back of it. Although it's substantial, nice bit of racking system. Let's face it, it's pretty pointless to anybody other than Sky. Uh, you may be able to use parts of it if you're buying these to uh, work them. You may not be able to. It's up to you. Uh, stone chip wise on the windscreen. There are a couple of stone chips on the windscreen. I don't think they're going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Because we do sell everything with a fresh 12 months MOT. Obviously, if they do, then we'll end up having to replace the screen at our cost. But um, I don't think they will do, to be fair. Looking down onto your bonnet. The bonnets are in great condition, as I say, because they're wrapped. There's no stone chips on them. They're, uh, they're in lovely condition. Front grille, etc. Uh, on the front of the bumper, that's all in good condition. As I say, this is the facelift model. Uh, you will see uh, the pre-facelift models out there on the marketplace. In fact, we've actually got a 2013 version in stock ourselves at the moment. And then passenger headlamp unit, as you can see, that's all in good order. Your passenger side front bumper corner. We do have a little bit of a scuff there on the bumper look. Uh, the vast majority of that bumper is in great all-round condition. Driver's side front bumper corner again, all in good order with no uh, scuffing. Your driver's side headlamp unit, that's in good order as well. Uh, steel wheels on all of these vans are suffering from corrosion, okay? Um, you know, we can paint them with a rattle can. They won't last massively long, but we will smarten them up. Uh, if you do want to quote on some Wolf Race Aller wheels, we are a Wolf Race Aller wheel dealer. Uh, as well as a calibre dealer so if you want any of their range of wheels as well then just give us a shout and we can always quote you accordingly as you can see this particular one has got continental tyre on the front of it uh, plenty of tyre tread depth left on that one your exact tyre tread depth we will point out to you and show you on your PDI check anything less than three millimetres we replace as part of our pre-delivery inspection process Looking down the side of the van, this one is actually uh, really um, in great condition, to be fair, for, you know, some of the Sky vans can have a few dings on them and stuff, but this one is very straight and tidy. Uh, mirror unit at this side, as you can see, the case is all in good order. The mirror unit itself is in good order. Your driver's side door glass, there's no scratching on that from coming up and down. That's in good order as well. The door itself, again, good order. Uh, your door lock, no signs of any uh, break-ins or anything behind your door lock. You can see there's no scratching behind the handle. Same with the 
passenger sliding door lock. And then just getting down low here, hopefully you can see that your sill going down the length of the vehicle appears to be all in good order with no damage on that either. Sliding door as a hole on this side, that's in good order as well. Your side protective uh, rubber strip, again, no damage on that. And then rear quarter, your upper rear quarter, that's in lovely condition, as is your bottom rear quarter. Now there's a little plastic cap, uh, all of these vans come with it missing when they take the wrap off, the little plastic cap um, falls off and uh, nobody ever bothers to replace it. Uh, I think they're about six quid or something like that from Volkswagen, so we'll get one of those ordered up for you and fitted. Your sliding door rail itself, that is in good order. And the steel wheel on this side, your driver's side steel wheel does have um, quite a bit of corrosion on it. It's not, not the best looking thing in the world. Um, but as I say, that's steel wheels for you. Continental tyre, as you can see, again, so another nice brand name tyre. Loads of tyre tread depth left on that tyre as for you as well. I'll quickly open up your sliding door on this side. So, Bot, yeah, the big name in racking systems on vans. These things must cost Sky a fortune. Um, substantial racking system in the vans. Um, your entry sills and plastics, as you can see here, are in great condition with no signs of any excess wear or tear. Just looking down in between the doors, as you can see, when we valet them, we valet them properly. Everything is nice and clean and tidy. All of our valeting products nowadays, I think we have some COVID, you know, sanitizing malarkey. So everything is done with that. Uh, looking down the side profile of the van on the driver's side again just giving you another another idea of uh, of what it's like and how straight it is um driver's side rear bumper corner uh no signs of any scuffing that's good your driver's side rear light unit is good your reflector in the rear bumper that is good as well now the rear bumper is probably the only thing um you know it's got some scratches on it as you can see, I just went through the bumper now, you can see your factory parking sensors. But it has got some scratches on that rear bumper. From a distance, it doesn't really stand out, to be honest with you. But they are there, and as we do warts and all, we'll point it out to you. Um, rear window, obviously, as you can see, it's got rear privacy glass fitted to it. On the inside, it has security covers as well. The rear doors don't so any, show any signs of any abuse either. Your passenger side rear light unit, that's in good order as well. And your passenger side rear bumper corner, again, uh, not in bad condition, but there are elements of marks on it. Uh, no scuffing on it from uh, a parking scuff kind of point of view, but there are some marks on it from wear and tear. So again, looking into it from the back, through your rear doors, inside of your rear doors, pretty good condition. Your security guards, as I say, over your windows, got a couple of coat hooks there going on, same on this side. Bit of marking on your paintwork, but nothing major. And then obviously you've got this bot system as well. Nice big tray look. That slides all the way out. And you've got all of these sort of side bits of storage as well. So some of it you may be able to get uh, make use of, um, some of it you may not. As I say, uh, if you don't want it, we'll take it out for you. It's not a major drama. And then just looking down the passenger side of the vehicle on this side, again, there's no dental dings to point out to you. It is very, very straight and tidy, this van. Corner this side, not too bad. Uh, lower quarter, all good. Upper quarter, all good. Steel wheel needs a refurb, doesn't it? It's uh, manky, a bit like the others, to be fair. Uh, but you do have a continental tyre on there with loads of tyre tread depth left on that side as well. Fuel flap here, lockable as you'd expect. Sliding door this side, again, pretty good condition. Passenger side door, oh I can spot a ding look, You've got a little ding here in the door. We'll see if we can get the dent man on that for you. Um, but yeah, nothing major. Passenger side front wing, that's all good. Passenger side steel wheel, again, another Continental tyre. And loads of tyre tread depth on that tyre as well. And then just looking down that side profile of the van again for you. 
down onto your sills. You can see your sills got no damage on them. Yeah, it's all pretty good. Opening up your sliding door, your sliding door slides along nicely as you can see. Again, just looking in between the sliding doors, you can see the levels of cleanliness we go into when cleaning them. Entry seals and plastics not in bad order. You've got another drawer that comes out here. As you can see, you've got some storage there for whatever copper piping or whatever. Um, yeah. And then opening up the passenger side. So passenger side door card. That is in uh, overall good condition. You have a small amount of wear and tear just on the plastics in the door card. And then your front um, rubber flooring is in good condition. Um, you're probably seeing more scratches on the, on the plastics on the video than you can actually see in real life. But yeah, there we go. Top of your dashboard. Bit of health and safety stickers on there we can remove if you wish and then looking at your seat passenger seat does have an airbag as you can see side airbag and the seat itself that's all good i'll just run you around to the driver's side and i'll run you through some of the goodies that it has on it so 55,604 miles. Let's get the aircon going a little bit. We have electric windows, we have electric heated mirrors and your central locking button here. Manual lights, headlamp levelers, dashboard illumination. The steering wheel itself, that's in nice condition. Currently have an airbag light on, I think that's probably from us valeting it um, in the boys uh, Valeting boys will take the seats out of time to valet them, so we'll just uh, reset that on the diagnostics for you. Um, but as you can see, you've got your Highline computer system in the centre here. Uh, your button on your end of your stalk over here runs you through your trip meter, uh, runs you through all the various bits and pieces that I'll show on there for you as well. Um, so right hand stalk also does your wipers and your intermittent wiper speed is done on here as well. Horns on your steering wheel. A reset button for your trip is over here. Uh, if you want to go into and change your clock, it's this button over here. And your left hand stalk does your wipers and your main beam. Push it away from you for your main beam and pull it back towards you again to turn it off. Uh, hazard warning lights are on the centre there. We have air conditioning. That is the one to have, isn't it? Uh, and then here we have your lovely Volkswagen sat-nav system. Uh, gives you DAB, uh, FM and AM stereo. You have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music um, all on here. Uh, and then we have your uh, Volkswagen navigation system. Cards should be in the office for it. We don't keep them in the vans, so uh, they do come with their sat-nav cards. Um, but really nice systems, as you can see. You've got App Connect on there as well. Um, you know, what a, it's a lovely, lovely, uh, system uh, and quite an expensive option as well. Five speed manual gearbox, obviously, as I said, these things are about 105 brake horsepower. Uh, we are a Pendle Performance remap agent, so if you want a bit more grunt, I think we can remap these things up to about 190 brake horsepower, make turns them into a flying machine. Uh, and then down here, we have USB and 12 volt power, we have your cup holders, etc., down here as well. So overall, you know, pretty tidy vans, aren't they? Considering they've been used by a mainstream company, um, they're, uh, they're all good. Uh, they're all um, serviced through the Volkswagen network as well with the deal that they have with Sky. This one has had its cam belt done on it at 37,000 miles. It's now only covered 56,000 miles. It is the one keeper in the book. It is the Euro 6. It has that amazing spec to it. It isn't going to last very long, so if you're interested, be quick. 70 odd photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering nationwide delivery. And you can, um, and we do part exchange, finance, etc. etc. If you need to talk to us, give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Appreciate the fact you battled through 15 minutes of me wittering on on this video. 
Um, however, uh, hopefully that has been of some benefit to you. Cheers, thanks, bye.